Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on info record in SAP MMS 4 HANA. So we have already started uh, master data in my previous videos. You, If you have gone through that, you might have seen there are the list of master data which we have. So we have already discussed on material master and business partner. That is vendor master. Okay. So today we will discuss about the info record. It is the part of master data. So we will discuss what is info record, what is the what are the different categories we have in info record, right? What is the use of info record, and what and uh, we have already created material and business partner. So we will see what is the uh, how this material and business partner or the vendor will be used in info record. Okay. Now let's get started. So what is info record? So in info record, basically we maintain the price of the material with the combination of supplier and material because whenever we will buy something. From where we will buy, we will buy from a supplier. So supplier will supply a material. For example, supplier is uh, supplying a material. Uh, so material as a laptop, I'm just considering. Okay. So there is a supplier. Supplier name is Dell. Okay. And Dell is supplying a material, uh, supplying a laptop. Means he is he will uh, he supplies all the Dell uh, laptop, whatever the configurations you are looking for. Okay. And we as a buyer want to buy a laptop. What laptop? Dell. Who is supplying? Supplier. Which supplier? Dell supplier. So Dell supplier will supply a Dell laptop to me. So we will ask them what is the cost for that. So in the companies where the buyer and the seller. So buyer means your, our client. Seller means the supplier. So who, whatever the uh, material or the laptop which we are talking now, when the supplier will supply that laptop, there will be some cost of that, right? For example, 60K is the cost of that material. So now against that particular supplier, we need to maintain the price and there will be the combination of the material and supplier. Okay. So by doing this, what will happen whenever the user will try to create a purchase order and he will use the same material and vendor combination in the purchase order, then the price which we are maintaining in info record will pick automatically in the purchase order. That means user whoever will create an order he need not maintain the purchase order manually in the purchase order that is what uh, the client's expectation will be so based on their requirement we will maintain this info record if your client will ask no i i my user should maintain the price manually in the purchase order right in that case no need to maintain the info record okay but nowadays most of the clients are looking for the info record concept where we are aware uh, there will be the combination of material and vendor will be maintained for uh, with the net price so that uh, their user need not maintain the price manually in the, inf uh, in the purchase order okay so we will see uh, in sap system as well now what are what are the different info categories we have so we have these are we uh, these are the list of info categories we have they depend what type of procurement you are doing and based on that this info record category will be maintained so one is standard. So what is standard info record? So if we are maintaining the info category as standard in info record, that means there will be there will be a price which will be maintained. And based on this price, whenever the supplier will try to, uh, sorry, whenever the user will try to create a purchase order with the combination of the material and vendor, which we will maintain with, with this info record, uh, with this info category standard, uh, the order, uh, in the in the order which he will create, the price will be automatically in the system. Okay, that is the use of standard info category. So if the user will try to create a PO for subcontracting process, and if he is maintaining the info category as subcontracting, that means whatever the price he is going to maintain in subcontracting info record, that price will be over there. Okay. Now, what is subcontracting? Subcontracting means it is, uh, uh, so basically in subcontracting, the buyers means our client will provide all the materials to whom? To the third party vendor who will not part of the company. And they will provide all the raw material or semi-finished material to that particular vendor. And they will, you know, manufacture that product and send it back to the buyer. So in that case, whatever the service charges will be there, those service charges will be paid to the supplier so that is how their negotiation uh, will happen in between buyer and supplier based on that the, that price will be maintaining in this subcontracting info category okay 
The next is consignment. So what is consignment? Consignment is again a type of uh, procurement where the supplier will send all the materials to the buyer, to the client and client will maintain all these uh, stock, means the consignment stock, uh, will uh, which he will maintain in their storage location and based on the usability, if suppose the uh, buyer uh, or suppose the supplier has uh, has delivered around 1000 kg of the material. Now out of 1000 kg, now suppose it is lying on the storage location. So now maybe after one month or two months, if the buyer wants to use that material out of 1000, suppose 100 quantity they want to use. So they will pay for that 100 quantity only. They will not pay for rest of the quantity, whatever it is lying in the storage location. Okay. So anyhow, we will discuss all these info categories in details. So in the system, when we will go through, maybe it will be more clear for you all. Okay. The next is pipeline. So just I'm giving you the overview now. So in what is pipeline? So pipeline is again a type of material where, uh, so basically whatever the material we are using in, the, in a company and those materials will be passing through the pipe will be considered as the pipeline material. So that can be your water that is going through the pipe, right? Electricity, gas, okay? Diesel, whatever the material the company are using and that is passing through the pipe. So those type of materials are called as pipeline material, okay? So now uh, let's get into the system. So uh, today we will see how the info category or info record will be created and then we will see once we will maintain the info record how it will be uh, or how uh, what will be the output in the purchase order okay so let me try to show you in the system so if you want to create an info record so what we need to do there is a transaction code me11 so me11 is the transaction code to create an info record so you have to enter this transaction and press enter you can see this is the create info record screen we have now here we need to maintain the combination of supplier and material so what whoever will be your supplier so first select your supplier based on your purchase organization so for example this is my supplier okay and this supplier is supplying a material what material it is supplying so select that material for example this is the material which my supplier is supplying okay and for which purchase organization maintain that purchase organization and for which plant so these are the combination which we need to maintain while creating an info record in SAP MM. Okay. Now, after this here, we have the info, cat, info record option. So if you have already created the info record, then you take the reference of that and based on that, you can create it. Okay. So as of now, we are seeing how can we create it. So I'm not copying from anywhere. Okay. So I've just maintained supplier, material, purchase, org, and the plant here. And now here you need to select what type of info category you want to create. At a time, you can maintain or you can select only one info record. So I'm just trying to show you how can we create the info record for standard. Okay. So I have selected standard. Then just press enter. And now you can see uh, this is the supplier. And for this supplier, the info record is already maintained. Okay. So now, okay, now fine. Here you can see. Now, when we are creating the info record, so if you have any issue, let me go back. Let me come back again. Go to uh, M11, enter your supplier and material, purchase organization, plant, standard. I have selected, then press enter. Yeah. So now, see, you. Uh, this uh, reminder sets are coming automatically here. Okay. So it can be set automatically or it, uh, you know, you can enter or you can maintain it manually also so we'll see that later now next so it will depend like what are the if you want to set any reminder uh, to the supplier like so because this these are your supplier data so whenever the supplier will supply you the material so in how many days the reminder should be sent to the supplier so you can set that uh, reminder here okay once it is done now press enter so once you'll press enter now here you have to maintain the planned delivery time. So in how many days or what are the planned delivery uh, time you are uh, sh um, scheduling with your supplier. So that you will discuss or the buyer will discuss with the supplier or our client will discuss with the supplier. And based on that, this planned delivery time will be fixed. Then standard quantity, how much quantities in standard you want to uh, order. And then here you can see the option of tolerance. Tolerance, under delivery and over delivery. Under delivery means 
and so now it will depend how much percentage you are using of under delivery and over delivery so whatever it is required based on that you can maintain the percentage here okay and here you can see there is a condition tab and in this condition tab you have to maintain the price of the material so 505 so this is the price i'm going to maintain per so my unit of measurement is each ea is for each so 505 each so now for this laptop now suppose you want to buy in 60000 so you have to enter 60000 inr each laptop that is what you are going to main, uh, maintain in info record okay and then press enter then it will ask for the purchasing group as well which is mandatory then select your purchasing group then press enter and then if you know a particular quotation so based on that also we can create now if you click on this condition condition tab here you can add multiple condition type also so pb00 is the condition type which is the standard condition type which pick for the info record so automatically it will come okay so if you want to add any other condition type for the for this particular supplier and material then you can maintain that condition type here okay otherwise we need not maintain anything now what will happen is whenever we'll try to create a purchase order the supplier and so this combination if we are selecting in purchase order for this purchase organization and plant this price 60000 inr for one laptop should reflect in the purchase order so that is what we will see now so let's save first so once you we'll click on save you can see now this info record has been created and then uh, it is created for this particular purchase organization okay so 53121 one. so let me get into the display mode okay 53121 And here we have maintained this price. Now, let's open a new window. Click on this and try to create a purchase order. So this is the transaction code which we use to create a purchase order. Enter. And now you maintain the same combination, whatever the combination you have taken here. So this is my supplier. So I'll directly paste the supplier number here. Press enter. Then enter the purchase organization which you have used and the purchase organization uh, and the purchasing group. Okay, purchase org and purchase group we have maintained. Now enter the same material which you have maintained in your info record. Then only your price will be. If you'll enter or if you'll use some other material, then you need to enter the price manually. Okay, now see, I'm using quantity one. Okay, and then I'm not using any or I'm not maintaining any net price here because this price should pick from the info record. That is what the output we will see here. Then enter your plant and then press enter. Now, the moment I'll press enter, that price, now you can see the 60,000 is picking automatically from the info record, right? Here you can see in this condition tab, and this is the condition type which was there in info record. So the same condition type is picking here with the price, 60,000 for one. So you can check with the quantity if you want two quantity, and then just press enter. You can see the value now. So 60,000 for one, for two, it is 1,20,000. So in this way, you can create the info record. Uh, sorry, you, in this way, you can create the purchase order and you can see your price maintained in the info record. So this is the concept of info record we have. Okay. So in the same way, we can create the info record for different info categories. So we can uh, create, the in, uh, create the info record for subcontracting, consignment and pipeline. So we will discuss in details about all those. Okay. Thank you, everyone. This is why this is what I wanted to discuss today with you all. Hope it is clear to everyone. So we will uh, connect in our next next session with our different topic. Thank you, everyone.